Hey y'all, here we go again. It's another great day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You should be too. And we are back at it. It's been a couple of days since I've been out here doing any work. We've been busy. So we're gonna get back out here and do some work. And I'm gonna get back over here on this wall, doing these switch plates, outlet covers, things like that. And hopefully we can get that done. We'll see, not sure, but keep watching and you'll find out. Y'all keep watching. Let's get back to work. Okay, y'all. Well, there you have it. That's it for today, I think. I uh, got all the plates in, with the exception of the one in the middle down there you saw. I need to get some longer screws for that. So once I get those, I'll be able to finish that. But right now I got to head to Fort Worth to meet up with Nana. She's in Fort Worth right now. So that's it for today. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hey, good morning, y'all. Here we go again. It's another great day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You should be too. We're going to get back at it today, but today we got to shift gears a little bit because tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, it's only going to be in the 20s and today it's about 33 right now so it's probably going to be in the 20s about this time tomorrow and drop into the single digits so i kind of got to take some time to get this place winterized if you will you may or may not know but we're living in our camper while we're building and so i got to make sure i get the hose squared away the hose situation so that thing doesn't freeze so I'm going to bring that inside. Currently it goes to a spigot outside. So I'm going to put a spigot on the inside in my water distribution room and get that ready to go. So I can bring all that hose inside except for the little bit that goes between the building here and the camper. So we're going to do that today. And then also you guys may or may not remember, but I got to put that outlet cover on that outlet over there. So I got the right screws for that. You see, I got this purple, purple board right here insulation board that's two inch insulation board and i'm going to put it on this roll-up door here eight by eight roll-up door and the big roll-up door over here 10 by 12 roll-up door so that we can kind of insulate those doors eventually i'm going to build some barn style doors on the outside of the roll-up doors so when you look at it from the outside it'll be barn style doors and that insulation will be in those doors but we're going to put it in temporarily to get through this cold snap but before I do that, like I said, it's about 33 degrees outside, so I'm gonna build a fire. So you guys keep watching, and I'm gonna get back to work. Okay, y'all, we got the outlet done, and we got the fire cooking. So now I'm gonna start on this plumbing in here. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But I'm going to take that valve out behind all those uh, electrical cords from my cell booster and internet and stuff. Gonna take that valve out and I'm gonna put a T in there and put a spigot in there and I'm gonna move that valve down the line a little bit. So that's the plan right now. You guys keep watching, let's get back to work. Okay y'all, well, got the valve in obviously it's not complete because i need to you know mount it against something but it's good enough for right now and that's the main point is i'm just trying to get everything ready for the super cold so we're going to go with that so next step is i need to go disconnect the water outside bring the hose in yada yada all that good stuff all right you guys keep watching i can get back to work Okay, y'all, we got the water hooked up, turned on. Nana's all bent over in the trailer over there. She's taping on some insulation on the little bit of exposed hose that we have. And I'm getting ready to work on this foam board insulation. And we're gonna cut it so that it'll wedge up in there and wedge tight in there. That's the plan anyways. So you guys keep watching. We're gonna get back to work.
Okay, y'all, check it out. We got this side done. Shoved in there. Looks pretty good. Nice filled in. A lot more airtight than it was. There's still some leaks around it, but now we're gonna go around and do the big door. All right, you guys, keep watching. So back to work. Okay, y'all, that's it for today. Check it out. We got a pink wall, purple, lavender. I don't know what color that is, mauve. Warm. Warm, but that is sealed in. Got the other side sealed in, you saw, and got the water line run. So I think we're pretty much set for the cold weather. So appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you later. Hey, good morning, y'all. Here we go again. It's another great day that the Lord has made. It's freezing cold outside. The front came in. You saw us put all the insulation in. Well, the front came in. I don't know if you can hear the wind howling, but that wind is howling. We got snow blowing sideways and it's cold out there. It's in about 20 degrees. So this morning, first thing I got to get the fire cooking, get the fire cooking. It's not too bad in here. It's about 61 degrees in here. And then once we get the fire cooking, then I think we are going to work on all these trim boards, putting them in the bedroom, get those in the bedroom in there. And that way, hopefully by the end of next week, we'll have the trim in and the floor done in the bedroom. And we'll be able to start moving furniture in bedroom furniture. Hopefully that's the goal for next week, this week and next week, I guess I should say. So let's get to work. You guys keep watching. I want to start a fire. Okay y'all, uh, well we got this trim in, half, the top half up here. And I got it wood puttied, all the nail holes. I just gotta come back and caulk it. But I'm not gonna do that yet. First, I'm gonna work on all the outlets. All the outlets, getting those space plates and stuff on, get that done. And maybe get the air conditioner hung. I haven't decided yet how I'm gonna do that. If I'm gonna do it like that yet. Man is in here cleaning closet floors and all kinds of mud and goop and nasties on them so she's doing that we're moving along getting this room prepped and ready to put the floor down you guys keep watching we're getting back to work Okay y'all, here you go. I think that's it for today. We got the, Nana got the floors clean. Got all the big chunk scrapes so they're nice and smooth. Got that done. I got all the switch plates and most of the outlet plates, with the exception of this right here, cause that's the outlet, but I still gotta make the connections. That's an ethernet and cable, TV, TV, TV cable. So I got that stuff done there and yeah. So that's it for today, y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hey, good morning, y'all. Here we go again. It's another great day that the Lord has made. Freezing cold outside. Our sewer froze. Our line out of the camper froze. So good thing I got the toilet hooked up in the bathroom. So we have a place to go. Anyways, we are getting back at it finally this afternoon. We went to town this morning, had to buy some lumber to work on a closet. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Working on a closet and the bedroom, trying to get the bedroom all prepped so we can get the floor done. As soon as we get the floor done, we can move in. All right, you guys keep watching. We're going to get back to work. All right, girlfriend, here's the plan. Yeah. Well, we're going to take the sheet of plywood. Piece number one. And we're going to run it over back down through there. Like we did the other piece just now? Just like it. Okay, and then what? All right, so we're going to run it through, get an eight inch strip, and then. And we'll cut it again. And then I'm going to bump it in, and we'll get a four inch strip.
Okay, y'all. There you go. That's it for tonight. I'm done. You saw we got the place all cleaned up out there. Meh-ish. Broke down some plywood. Started in this closet here. I got the backside done. Got all the plywood put on. Just got to set the nails, putty the holes, caulk, and paint on the inside. But that's it for tonight, y'all. Appreciate you guys watching. See you tomorrow. Hey, Merry Christmas Eve, y'all. It's Christmas Eve. We're about to get started working in here again on the bedroom, getting that thing prepped and ready. So hopefully, like I told you, my goal is to get the floor done in there. We'll get that room finished out so we can move stuff in. So that's the goal for this week and next week. So here it is Saturday, it's the end of this week. So you guys keep watching, we're gonna get back to work. Well, there you have it, y'all. That's it for today. It's looking better, I think. So I've got all the, I guess, I don't know what you're calling that, plywood to cover it up. Got the plywood to cover it up. All I got to do now is obviously I've got a case inside each opening and then fill all my nail holes, putty them, all that good stuff, and put my trim boards up. We're getting there. Maybe, hopefully, like I said, by the end of next week. We'll see. All right. I gotta go eat some Christmas dinner. You guys keep watching. See you tomorrow. Thanks.